Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to play GameCube as well as Wii games on Linux. So to start off to install this app, please check the description below as we have an article that will let you know exactly how to get the Dolphin emulator. Once you have it, go to your applications, search for Dolphin emulator, and open it. So there are a lot of settings here, and um, you can set a games directory to easily select the games, and that's what I'm going to do. So I have my my ROMs in the download directory, so I'm going to do that, and it will find all of my ROMs. Now, I only have the Super Smash Bros. Melee ROM, but if I wanted to load DVD backups, all I do is go to File, and then Load DVD. I can also click Open, browse for ISO files, or any of these kinds of uh, ELF, DOL, GCM, and all these other different types. You can also just put a disk in and uh, load directly from the disk, either if, whether it's GameCube or Wii. You can tell by what version of the game you're running. If it's GameCube, it'll show a little GameCube logo, and if there's a Wii version, it'll show over there. So let's start out with graphics. So click on graphics, and you can change the individual software options. I would say leave it at OpenGL, but turn on VSync, use full screen and uh, you can also mess with these other things here. If you want a widescreen ratio like 1080p, you can do that. You can also do force stretch or any of these. I'm gonna leave it the same uh, as it's supposed to be, but you can you can modify that. And uh, there's also some hacks that you can use like uh, EFB and there's enhancements. So if you wanna change the native resolution and the internal of the game or post-processing effects, force texture filtering, widescreen hacks, and all these other stuff. Uh, to configure a controller, please make sure that you've already plugged in a controller before you do anything. And I'm going to plug in one now. click controller and then click configure and then you'll need to select the individual controllers and all you got to do is go through and click a and then assign I'm gonna leave mine as the default because I'm actually having problems with my controller right now but the concept is is like this you go to the device and if you want to leave it for keyboard and mouse input you would leave it like this, but you can refresh the devices. You can go to virtual core pointer, which is like, a, you know, another device. Or if you, if I had a, my 360 controller, if it was working, it would show up as joypad right here. And then you could assign keys. We, we uh, cover how to assign keys more in the, the setup for the article, but I will assign it with my keyboard just so that we can still talk about this, despite the fact that my controller is not working and it's blinking weird. So to set up the D-pad, I would click over on the D-pad and I'd go to, I want to cl click on it and then I would go, and I have set the D-pad to up, down, left, and right on my arrow keys. And I can also set left and right to shift L and I can set the right to shift R. I can do A, S, D, F, and C. And pretty much you can just go through and set up as much stuff as you want. Once you're done, you can click OK, and your controllers are set up. You can also go to the other configuration options here if you'd like to mess with that. But once you're ready to play, you just select the game and click the play button. Now the emulator will start up. And uh, Don't remember what button is for start. And we can just go through and start a game. And it's gonna be a little awkward with the keyboard, but. And we're emulating the GameCube right now and I can play Super Smash Brothers right on my computer.
So guys, I uh, hope you learned how to run emulators for the Nintendo Wii and GameCube on Linux. Hope it was informative, and I will see you in the next video. Uh, happy gaming, you guys.